afternoon, uh, Mr. Chairperson, all the professors, my senior engineering colleagues. Actually, uh, my topic is management of the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Uh, you have learned a lot uh, for the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, uh, epidemiology, uh, pathophysiology, uh, uh, investigation, diagnosis, and now you come to the management. Uh, actually, um, uh, mine, Presentation is mainly based on the ASLD guideline, not uh, the complicated ones, uh, just uh, to improve your uh, treatment in, in a general practitioner, a general practice. Uh, uh, so uh, I will explain most of the uh, simple one, and then uh, later I explain a little bit about the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the latest drugs, uh, which Pro Professor Josoton already mentioned about that. So, um, uh, this is uh, 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 non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Uh, this is mainly due to overnutrition. So whether uh, you eat to live or you live to eat, sawu adeshenala adeshemu sara la. Ro dika ro bale so ro chono ruwa sara imyani de chono ruwa overnutrition ipshin ni de ko no ara jamulu chono ruye liver ma fatty liver de ipshin la. So if you eat like that, for example, your breakfast, that includes around about 700 kilocalories, and your lunch and dinner around about total 2,200 kilocalories, and then you have uh, already snacks, like the cookies, uh, uh, some uh, pies, uh, some uh, uh, snacks, and then nuts. So a lot of uh, energy into your body, and then a lot of problems uh, for the uh, development of the fatty liver. So, nephalde is down a global problem now. So, you know, uh, the whole while we have a problem with the non alcoholic fatty liver disease. So, if you understand uh, pathogenesis of the nephalde, the treatment is quite simple. So, this is a, a, a pathogenesis in targets of therapy. Uh, this is a brief summary. Actually, this is a, uh, a genetic predisposition, and then insulin resistance, and then the, the obesity. That causes accumulation of the fat in the liver, and then uh, oxidant stress, and the chronic hepatocellular injury, and then inflammation, and finally, fibrous cirrhosis. This is a basic principle, quite simple uh, pathogenesis uh, of the nephalde. So what about our management? So, this is a brief uh, 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 management for the uh, nephalde, for insulin resistance, and then obesity. You need to do uh, exercise, weight loss, and then some drugs for the uh, fatty uh, is, is fat excretion, like the olistat, and then uh, some insulin sensitization drugs, metformin, thyroglazone, etc. And for the accumulation of fat in the liver, we have a betaine, choline, lecithin, etc. And then oxidant stress, we have a vitamin E and other antioxidants. For the chronic inflammation injury, we have a acidiosicolic acid, anti DNF alpha therapy. And then finally, that is a fibrosis, cirrhosis. Uh, there are some drugs for the anti fibrotic activities. So this is a quite simple uh, management for the fatty liver. So, regarding about the management, uh, we need a, a society level. Society level, the society should have uh, some uh, uh, improvement in our uh, daily activities and daily uh, diet uh, uh, problems. You ha we have a food and safety uh, advertisement. So, EU regulation on transfer and advertisements to the children, very important step in the right decision, right direction. So this is very important because not only the individual, at uh, the government level, the institutional level should have some guidelines for the diet. So uh, that is a, a basis for the management of the uh, non alcoholic fatty liver disease. So the food industry needs to be responsible partner for the food quality and the portion size and then targeting about the children. And then we have encouraged the physical activity in the children. So uh, in Singapore, you know, 
or uh, they, they encourage the activities. They send some uh, physical trainer to the condominiums and they uh, bring down all the people from the condominiums to the exercise every morning, etc. So this is a national program. So we need to, to like uh, this uh, activity, physical activity, to increase the physical activity in children as well as the, the whole population. And then uh, we need to manage the stress and managing life and work, you know. Everybody knows that there's a lot of stress and then uh, that, that uh, uh, I mean, some suicide or something like that. So that mentions uh, we have a lot of stress. So we have to manage how to reduce the stress and how to improve our quality of life, etc. So this is a, a changes in the society level. We should be uh, emphasized in the uh, society level. And then public health. So, uh, development of the integrated approach for the prevention, assessment, identification, and the treatment. So, the role of the medical fraternity, we need awareness. Awareness is very important for the non alcoholic fatty liver disease. Everybody should be aware about the uh, nephrology and they have to uh, uh, train their self, they have to change their life, lifestyle, and diet, etc. And then we need some training and research. Uh, we need a to train about the healthy living, and then uh, we need to identify the, uh, the uh, prevalence of the nephrology, and then we have to advise for the uh, proper uh, treatment for the nephrology. CFM, caring for well-being.